for Next 2022 and robots and automation. I'm here with my buddy Pat, we're at the Stratasys booth, and somehow we're inside the cage. We we're inside the Thunderdome. We finagled our way in here. Pat, what is this? This is a demonstrator, a proof of concept of post-processing for our DLP system. The origins behind me, there's six origins back there. We took the doors off, we got a robot, and we're able to take out the build plate, put it on the conveyor, and it goes through here into a post-processing system. DLP post-processing, there's multiple ways to do post-processing in DLP, put it in alcohol, put in other chemicals, do, do some other things to it, dry it. So that's what's shown here on my left. We're able to automatically put those through the processes, come out the other end. We created a closed loop here, so the parts come back and go in that bin there. But in real life, on the other end, it would come out of the post-processing and go into a factory, if this was in front of a factory. If this was in a service bureau, it might go into a sorting and bagging system. That's the idea. Well, and it sounds like with uh, post-processing of DLPs from the machines, like you said, uh, an alcohol bath or the chemicals, whatever, it's all, this feels like, um, remember the days of film and film cameras and you'd yeah. send it away and they would have an automated system to develop the film and then produce the pictures. And that's that's kind of what you're doing here. Kind of what we're doing that's here, yeah. But just in three dimensions. In three dimensions. And so as we get ready for manufacturing, we need more automation. We can print a lot of parts and origins. Now we need to work on what's the next step of the post-processing. That's, that's what we're demonstrating uh -oh, here. That's I the see, next step. I see. So the automation, as far as starting the prints and getting those done, that's a problem that has been solved for quite a while. Correct, that's in place. So now that robotic arm, that's sort of the first part of the secret sauce, right? That Correct. robotic arm is what's gonna go in there and take out that build plate from each of the machines. And so put the, a new one back in. Oh, and then put a new one back sure, in. Sure, okay. oh, start over This is like let, lights out automation, right? Correct, so it's gonna put one here. Imagine it's putting one here, and this parts are now coming into the post-processing. But over here, you see it dipping into the post-processing behind me. I do me. see that, yeah, that so arm going So it's going, going through the process, let's say it's doing an alcohol bath, it's drying, whatever it's doing. And at the other end of that process, now it's got finished parts at the end of the process behind me. For our origin, we have an open resin strategy. Oh, you do? So okay. we work with Covestro, Henkel, BASF. So th this proof of concept here, closed loop, just to kind of demonstrate, it looks like it's working really well. Like as far as a prototype goes or a display unit goes, it seems fairly fleshed out. We hired Calvary Robotics. They're, they do manu they do manufacturing robotic cells. This is what they do. So we wanted to make a real demonstrator, not a, ah. not a just like we made it ourselves demonstrator. You see oh, not rest? something you hacked together in the basement. Correct. We okay. wanted to have a we hired a real robotics company who really makes manufacturing cells for real companies. Once this goes into production, or this becomes something that you can offer potential customers, is is that then a partnership with Calgary or uh, Calvary Robotics? We see the next step as systems integrators will come in, because you would build this custom for your factory. Right, I, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, so, that's kind of what I'm thinking, right? So you need a systems integrator. Now, we chose Calvary Robotics, we have a great relationship with them, but you know, in your manufacturer, whoever the manufacturer is, they may already have a systems integrator they're working with, et cetera, et cetera. And then this would probably interface with the factory MES. An MES is a system that run, it connects all the factory machines. When you systems integrator comes in, it's gonna connect a new process like 3D printing to an existing factory, <laughs> you would need a systems integrator to do that. And that's why we picked, a, we picked a real one that we know that does a lot of robotics. We picked a real one to say, let's do a real proof of concept. That makes sense. Is this, is this level of automation something that others are doing? Or is this, is this a, a brand new thing? Or I is... Think, I think it's brand new. We're, the technologies are just getting there. The printing technology is just getting there. So they're creating the problem. So it's a real problem we're trying to... Oh, this, oh, and, and um, obviously this has been popular. I've seen lots of people here yes, looking oh, in yes. the windows. I've talked to a lot of people today. I would, yeah. I would imagine a lot of people have come here very interested in what this is showing off. I don't know about you, robots make me happy. Yeah, same here. Like seeing robots, like watching the movie WALL-E, that made me happy. You asking to come in here and me being allowed to be in here made me happy. Did too. it really? Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Because before I would never get in here, to be honest. Oh, shit. Rogue Robots. Well, Pat, there's going to be a lot of questions about this because now people, not just at the show, but my audience is going to get a peek into this world. And I would love it if you could look at the camera and just let everybody know where they could go to find out more information about this sort of thing. That's a good question. You don't know? I don't know. Based on the feedback, we will be providing more information. Ah, okay. I don't think we had a, we, let's do this and see what happens kind of thing. Was, oh, really? It was that well, level that's of... that's what Stratasys does a lot. You know, we've had demonstrators. We had the giant robotic arm. Mm -hmm. We had uh, ones that stacked up printers that spit out, parts, spit out parts. So a lot of these never became products. 
Well, I guess Stratasys may have this online at some point. Um, I, if I find it or if I get a note from you telling me it's active, I'll put a link down in the description. Perfect. Um, we also mentioned Cavalry Robotics, right? They're yes. the ones that built this. I think it'd be fair if we put a link down in the description for them as well. Absolutely. All right. Well, this is Pat, and I had a great time. Thank you. Dude, thanks for bringing me in here, man. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of Formnext. Be, be careful on the way out. Don't get caught by a robot. Yeah, don't die by robot. Not yeah. today.